Hey everyone, Tom here from MS Power User, and today we're taking a quick look at the upcoming Skype Universal Windows platform app for Windows 10. As you can see, the app looks a lot like the classic Skype Win32 app, which is pretty great and keeps things feeling nice and familiar. Now, let's talk about features in the app. As you may expect, you can send messages as you normally would. You can also edit those messages with right click and simply type in what you meant to say, or even remove those messages if you need to. Additionally, the app also shows the indicator when someone else is typing. Push notifications are present here as well, having the same appearance of other apps Windows 10. Action Center also shows off your latest message with dismissal and action options too. Now, as expected, video and audio calling a Skype contact works as normal. Moreover, you can add someone else to an existing conversation as well, which is quite nice too. As this is a UWP, it scales when you resize the program, so you can imagine this working just as well on a variety of screen sizes, whether it's PC, mobile, or even tablet. Talking settings, you're greeted with a familiar UWP menu when you open it up. There are options here to enable or disable notifications for nearly all aspects, incoming calls, messages, contact requests, etc. Of course, the app currently lacks some features such as the ability to send a file or a video message, which are coming in future releases. But you can send emojis and Skype emojis too, which are fairly nice. As you can see, almost all of the Skype emojis are here in the Skype UWP. There's also a full screen mode in the app, which you probably won't use. And here is the screen you see when you log into the app for the first time. So yeah, I mean, that's about it for the Skype UWP app. Let us know what you think in the comments section below and be sure to check out the website at mspoweruser.com. I'll see you guys in the next one.